with temptation, searching for salvation. Can we find our way back, way back? Caught up in confusion, need a resolution. Hi, my gorgeous beauties. How are you all doing? <laughs> So today I'm going to be doing another celebrity inspired makeup tutorial. I saw the new music video too, I believe. I think that's what it's called. Let me double check before I get myself wrong because I tend to do that a lot. So the song's called I Believe. It's, got DJ, it's by DJ Khaled but it's featuring Demi Lovato who sings in it. And oh my god, this song honestly speaks words to me. I just love it so much. If you haven't heard it, go give it a listen. Like the words are so powerful and... You know, it's just very inspiring and, you know, when I listened to it, I was like, yes! I got out of my bed and I've, you know, did got shit done. Yeah, I've been feeling really, really, really unmotivated. Not in terms of, like, videos, but just with other things that I have to do. And the only thing that I really enjoy is making these videos and talking to you guys because, like, it literally brings me to this other place. It's, like, therapeutic to me. But... Yeah, yesterday I didn't get much done, especially with uni work. So once I heard that song, like, literally made me get off my big ass and, you know, do get my stuff done. So definitely, definitely go listen to the song, guys. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. It's kind of the song for the film A Wrinkle in Time, and I can't wait to watch that film. Yeah, I love Demi Lovato. Like, she's one of my... She's, like, one of the women that really inspire me. Like, she's been through so much. She did a video on like her past and everything and she's been through so much and obviously like yes people go through so much worse but she's been she's been through stuff you know and she didn't have to share it with the world but she did and she picked herself up from that and she's to me she's quite a strong strong woman so um yeah i feel very inspired by her i love her music so much i can't even say enough so i had to do this video this eye look that she wore in the video is just so stunning and so unique and i haven't really done something like this so i was like let me just experiment and give this a go um my hair is like a mess as always and also guys we reached 90k on my channel like we we did it like we we've reached 90k like what the hell what i, I can't even get my mind around it there's so many of you and we're literally like a little big family and I can't wait to meet you all one day. I have to do meet and greets. I want to meet you guys. Um, but just your messages and comments mean so much. Your support means so much to me. I was saying on my Insta story that my mum literally reads all, every single one of your comments. Like she literally reads every single one of them. So we love you guys. So thank you so much for being a part of our family and subscribing to this channel. I want to spread lots of love and positivity and a lot of cre creativity on this channel as well. That's why I have a mixture of videos on here. And yeah, I think just guys, thank you so much. And that's all I can say. I, I can't say it enough. And I love you so much. And here's to 100k. We're almost there, guys. Oh my god, can you believe it? We're almost to 100k. <sighs> but yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. We are gonna jump onto this tutorial. If you wanna know how to get this look, then keep on watching. Alright, so I already have my brows done and I'm going to start off with the eyes. So I don't really like to use several palettes in a tutorial. I don't know if you guys have realised that. I rarely do that to be honest because I just find it's just much easier. So the palette that I'm going to be using and that had very similar colours to what she was wearing is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette. It has the black, the kind of reddish shimmery shade that she had on the lid. And then I've got some other gold bits to put that was like super pretty like on the wing. I'm first going to use some of the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This one's in the shade C10. And then I'm going to use the shade Bay to set that in place. I really need to like fix my eyebrows. Okay, so I've got my tomato paste right here. If you guys watch my following um, Kosher Beauty's makeup tutorial, you guys know I used this and it was actually really helpful. And this look is very like winged out, so I feel like this is going to help a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to use the shade Coco, which is this shade right here. I'm going to be very, very generous.
And just grab a clean brush and blend, soften it out. This palette, I think, is limited edition. Um, it is going to start. I think they are going to discontinue it, which is kind of sad because it's actually one of my favourite palettes. Um, but I did check. It is still available. So if you guys want to grab it, it's just like, you just need the palette like this. It's just so, so nice. They're so pigmented. And I'm not just saying that because I love, obviously you guys know I love Huda Beauty, but she just it's just really pigmented and easy to work with. I'm just going to put a little bit just above here, like above the crease line. Because I could see a little bit of brown above the reddish eyeshadow she had. And it doesn't really go high up either. I'm literally just taking inspiration from the music video itself. Okay, so now we're gonna like start blending the black, which was super intense. Blending. I'm just going to bring it a little bit further out. Kind of soften the edges. I want to see like if the black goes further in to be honest it does go further out so I'm just gonna just play around with it they bore it out a bit more because there's that gold flex that they use and you want to be able to use that in the outer corner like you want to be able to see it once you apply it so I'm just gonna bring it further out Right now I'm just building some of the brown on top just to create a nice transition. I'm going to grab this shade right here which is a stunning colour. It's called, what is it called? Fling. I'm going to take some of that on a brush and then spritz it with some of my Smashbox primer water. I think that's pretty close to what she's had she had. Other eye. Can you just see how like pigmented these eyeshadows are? Take some of Bay again, which was the first shade we used to set our Base. I'm gonna highlight that brow bone. I'm not using a shimmery color because um, I've got like my eyebrows are not done, and if I'm gonna use a shimmery shade, it's gonna really accentuate those brow hairs, and I don't want that. I'm just gonna take a clean brush, smaller one, just to diffuse the edges a bit more. I think I'm gonna keep it like that for now and finish the eyes afterwards. I'm just gonna take some of my makeup wipe and clean off the excess fallout. Just want it to bring it out further. Just right here. So for the face, I'm first going to start off with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. <sighs> These cars, man. Just gonna put this all over. Then we're gonna use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. 
Um, this is in the shade Y445, which is equivalent to 173. Swipe that all over. Also going to be using my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. I'm going to use um, my Makeup Revolution Conceal Define Concealers again. I'm using C10 and C12. I like to mix the two together. C10 is more like my highlight shade and C12 is more my skin colour. And it's the same thing in the foundations. take some of this colour right here from the NYX contour and palette contour and highlight pro palettes the cream version and I'm just gonna like contour my nose And I'm taking some of the banana shade in that palette and then just highlighting very thinly the centre. Then for powder I'm going to be using my makeup, my Ben Nye Banana Powder, which I haven't used in a while but this you guys know I, like was like one of my favourite powders of all time. And concealer areas and I'm also I'm just gonna set around my mouth which is a must for me since this is like quite a dewy foundation I'm just gonna set roughly <laughs> that definitely went all up in my nose brush off the excess so to bronze my face, because I don't really see much contouring action going on with Demi, so I'm going to be using this uh, perfect, <laughs> this perfect colour, my perfect colour powder foundation, I think that's what it is, mattifying powder, medium coverage, it's in the shade caramel and it was only £2, and this is what this shade looks like. Browns by bones. Some of you ask why do I contour or like bronze my forehead even though it's like relatively small and the reason why I do it it creates this dimension like a 3D dimensional kind of look like if it was just flat white here then there's not much dimension it's just going to look big and flat whilst if you contour and bronze the edges it just makes it pop out more and just look you know really slick slimmer um i don't know it just makes it look better i don't really like when i don't bronze my forehead this powder is actually not bad to bronze with we're gonna brush off the excess of this powder Oh yeah, I 
I don't know if they use blush, but I'm gonna just go with highlighter today. And I'm using the Mary, the Manizer, what? The Manizer, the Manizer. Don't know how to say this, but basically this palette from the Balm, and it's got Mary Luminizer, Cindy Luminizer, and Betty Luminizer. But I'm gonna use Betty today. A mixture of Betty and Mary. guys know I love doing this I'm just putting this on the highest points of my cheeks cheekbones the bridge of my nose very lightly just above my brows and the temples like my when I have my makeup on and I contour my face my face looks completely different from when I ever don't have makeup obviously but um, it's just all about playing around, see what suits your, your face better. It's like makeup has no rules. I'm going to make a video on that. Guys, it's just, I'm going to do it hopefully in the week that comes. Like makeup has no rules. It, it just, what, you just have to find what works best for you. Obviously there are techniques and stuff to make it, um, to help you and, you know, make it as look as best as possible. But you have to see what techniques and what, you know methods are really good for your face shape for your skin tone for your eyes for your forehead so when people ask me why are you why are you contouring your head forehead when it's small like who said i can't is there so is it written somewhere in a rule book do you know what i mean like um i just like it like that i like the way it looks it makes my forehead look a bit slimmer like you know more like shaped you know i don't have to say it like because this is highlighted it makes it look more kind of formed like more 3d so it gives this more three-dimensional look so when you contour here this bit pops out so it makes your cheek cheekbones look more 3d you know like more defined i'm definitely gonna make a video on makeup and has no rules because it's it's like even in my job in my previous job there were too many rules to makeup and i think that was one of the main reasons i left too many steps that you had to follow and I'm not all about that to me makeup has no rules you can do whatever you want with it if you want to put your concealer before your foundation or your foundation before your concealer like who cares like do it the way you want to anyways let me stop babbering a little blabbering <laughs> I'm just gonna set my face so I'm using the Smashbox primer water I love this stuff so much Okay, now we're going to go back onto the eyes. We're going to use some of Coco, which was the brown. And just blend that under the eyes. And then we're going to take some of the black, but much closer to the lash line. You can take a smaller brush for this, but I'm just lazy. This is so therapeutic for me, like putting on makeup just makes me go to this other place in my mind and I forget about every problem, everything I have to do, every little thing that's pissing me off, like it just makes me forget everything and have fun, you know. Okay, so on Demi's eyes there was a lot of gold flecks on the outer corner of the wing. It's quite concentrated on the outer corner, so I'm just going to see, I can roughly tell from the um look but what i've got here is this ink me eye and body liner in by Rimmel. this is the new gold one that they have so i'm just going to roughly draw lines dots kind of like you know when you do jaguar print And it kind of like flares out, so I'm doing a little bit more dots when it kind of like stops. And what I am going to do, because she looks like she has a lot of black smoked on the lash line so I'm just going to take a brush use that same black truffle shade from the Huda Beauty palette and just smoke out some black just be careful because we've already got your base on you don't want black all over your base 
I also have some of the Vice Special Effects stuff. I don't even know what this is by Urban Decay, but it's super, super intense and like gold. So I'm going to use some of that um, on a little tiny brush and just pop that on some of the gold bits. Just to make it like pop. On some mascara, I'm going to use my Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara. I just put a ton of this, I'm going to put some lashes on. My tummy is rumbling so loud, oh my god I'm so hungry. But we're almost done. Just got to put them lashes on and then the lip. Okay, so for the lashes, I'm going to be using the Classy Lashes in Anita. These are like really like flary outy, if that's even how you say it. But I'm just going to... That made my teeth grind. Um, but I'm just going to put these on. I'll be right back. Okay, I just put my lashes on. They're just drying at the moment. So in the meantime, I'm going to do my lips. I'm first going to use some of my MAC Cork Lip Pencil. She just went with a really light nude looks. Not a lot of you liked the lip colour I wore in my previous video, which is fine, but I kind of really liked it. It's definitely lighter than what I usually have it. But it looked really nice, like it was really nice and glossy. And then I'm going to pop some of this Nip and Fab liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Cinnamon. And then just to finish that off, I'm going to use some of my Wonder Kiss Lip Plumping Gloss. She had a really... She had a really, really, really glossy lip, so... Yeah. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. I don't know why I'm appearing super washed out right now. Hmm. But what do you guys think? I'm just going to zoom you guys in so you can see. Alright then, so that's the end of this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously it's not exactly the same. I tried my best to make it exactly the same, but... You know, it's really hard to see from the music video. But it's just so beautiful. Like Once I saw that eye look, I was like, no, no, no. I need to do it. Um, I know this is, I did this in day look like literally in my last video, but I had to do this this one because like as soon as, I just love this song so much and I love Demi so much and yes. Again, thank you so much for 90K guys. I love you guys so much. I can't even tell you enough, but here's to 100K hopefully soon. Make sure to tell your brothers and sisters, your cousins, your, your aunties, your uncles, your, your mother-in-law, your father-in-law your brother-in-law your sister-in-law just tell them to subscribe <laughs> if they can and yeah i love you guys so much thank you so much for the support and i know i say it all the time but i just can't say it enough and i just want to say thank you for just watching my videos and spreading the love and sharing supporting me and it, honestly it fills my heart up and i appreciate it so much and i can't be grateful enough so thank you guys i will see you all in my next video let me know what you would like to see next and yeah, mm -hmm. bye!